guys, Jess Halleck here. Today I'm going to talk about scrunchies. They are so good for your hair, they're so easy to do, and if you're on your last day and you want another cute style, this is what your go-to is. Scrunchies come in all sizes, some come with bows, some come without the bows, just the scrunchies, some are thick, some are thin. You can find all different kinds that you like on Amazon or local boutiques. These are some of my favorites, they're just from a local boutique in my area, but I have ordered some from Amazon that I use all the time. So here's a few different styles that you can use to incorporate the scrunchies on a daily basis. A way that I kind of cheat when I do scrunchies is I'll use a bobble underneath. Especially if your hair is thin or if it's super thick and you need just some control because a scrunchie doesn't have enough structure to hold it in place, think of it more of your finishing accessory, not the only thing that you're gonna use. A bobble, these are amazing. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them um, probably, I think in Target actually has a few, um, but there's different sizes. So depending on how thick or thin your hair is, you can find the right one. And they come in clear, pink, purple, black, brown, all different colors. So this is the power one. This is an original, and they also have a slim and a mini based on how thick your hair is. And just so you know, if these ever stretch out too much, you can always soak them in hot water and then take it out and it'll shrink back up. I don't know how it works, but it does. So I'm gonna use these bobbles underneath these styles just to keep them in place and then I'll finish off with a scrunchie. So here we go. Okay, so for this first look, you're just gonna do a top mohawk bun and you'll notice on almost every look, I tuck hair into the bobble just because then I don't have to use any bobby pins and the messier the better. And then I just finish off with a scrunchie. Okay, look number two is a low side pony with a bun. And I like to part my hair on the side where I have a bang just because that's probably what's gonna end up falling out. So I do a deep part, pull it over to the side, and like I said, I tuck everything into the bobble. And if it's getting out of control, it's totally fine because it's supposed to be messy. So don't overthink it. And this is super cute under a hat too. And then I finish off with a scrunchie. Okay, look number three is your classic top bun. This is my go-to when I'm literally running out the door. Like I said, with doing a messy bun, you don't overthink it. You just tuck it into the bobble, call it good, and finish off with a scrunchie. This is my go-to for the gym, like literally every time, because that sucker's not going anywhere. And if you're feeling naked around your face, just pull down hairs, those baby hairs around your face, just to give you a little something something. Okay, for the next look, we're changing it up. I'm gonna do buns on either side of my head. What you're missing at the end of this video is probably that I usually wear a hat with a hat, <laughs> if it seems kinda random. So I do the same thing with a bobble. This is a good time to try out the different sizes of bobbles because a big chunky one like that blue one I'm using is probably not the best. I would stick with the minis or the original or the slim. Slims are perfect for this. And then I did use two different scrunchies, but it's just because I didn't have two matching ones. Okay, for look number five, I wanted to show you something different. It's another mohawk style, but I did a braid. Didn't do a Dutch or a French. I'm not sure if I made this up, but it's not one or the other. Instead of taking hair from both sides, you just take it from the front and then cross over from the back. And so it puts it at a diagonal and makes that back side of the braid a little bit more chunky so you can pull it apart. I love doing this style and like a full headband braid. It's super cute. And then I just finish off with a scrunchie.
Okay, this last look, I wanted to show you one of my favorites. Anytime I get to do this on my hair, I get complimented all the time. I think it's so cute and it looks complicated, but it's really simple and I can't believe I can do it with a bobble. But it's that topsy tail, so you just twist it. My hair is like a medium short length, so I can't do too many topsy tails, but if your hair was longer, you could definitely do another one and keep going down. But this is so cute and simple and it's probably my favorite. So there you have it. There is six ways to use a scrunchie. I hope this helped and give you some ideas. I love scrunchies that get me through that last dirty hair dye so I can just go one more day till I can wash it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any ideas for videos in the comments or if you just have a question for me, I'd love to talk to you.